odd rows, like row 1, are read from right to left when looking at the chart, mirror image of how lefties are knitting. This row ended with turn, so now we'll need to turn our work. Now we're working across the back to where we started. Once you've cast on your stitches, turn the needle around and hold it in your right hand. This is now your right needle or your holding needle. Hold the other needle in your left hand. This is referred to as your working needle. Insert the needle into the front of the first stitch from right to left. With the yarn from the ball, called the working yarn, wrap it under and over the left needle. We'll demonstrate with another color to make it easier to see what's happening. Draw the loop through the stitch and onto the left needle. Remove the stitch from the right needle. You can hold the yarn any way you choose right now. Insert the needle into the front of the first stitch from right to left. Wrap the yarn from back to front around the left needle. Draw the loop through the stitch and onto the left needle. Remove the stitch from the right needle. Right to left, under and over. Once you've cast on your stitches, turn the needle around and hold it in your right hand. Hold the other needle in your left hand. Insert the needle into the front of the first stitch from right to left. With the yarn from the ball, wrap it under and over the left needle.
draw the loop through the stitch and onto the left needle. Remove the stitch from the right needle. You can hold the yarn any way you choose right now. Insert the needle into the front of the first stitch from right to left. Wrap the yarn from back to front around the left needle. Draw the loop through the stitch and onto the left needle. Remove the stitch from the right needle. Right to left, under and over. When you get to the last stitch, knit it the same way. Now you have worked all the stitches and have no stitches remaining on the needle. Turn the needle around and switch to the right hand. Let's mark that row complete. Notice that this row also ends with turn. Here, we've switched back to knitting in just one color. Your swatch should look something like this. When knitting back and forth on every row like this, it makes a fabric where both sides look the same. This is called garter stitch. When working the knit stitch, the yarn should always be in back, behind our work, wrapping from back to front. One of the most common mistakes is accidentally bringing your yarn to the front and then knitting. When you do this, you'll accidentally add a stitch or an extra loop to your work. Here, we had two stitches on the needle and we're working the third. 
but you can see we now have added a stitch. We have four instead of three stitches on the needle. You can see that the extra stitch looks a little funny. It will create a hole in your work. Later, you can use that hole in helpful ways, but for now, we want to avoid it. So counting your stitches often is a good way to look out for these kinds of mistakes.